This shiny Raichu that you're looking at is actually part of a really amazing event that Pokemon has recently done. This event was so good that it was able to bring me out of retirement from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and brought me right back to the game. And I'm going to explain to you why this Raichu is extremely rare, why you need to get it, and why Pokemon should continue to do events specifically like this one. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet released on November 18th, 2022, followed up by one of its first biggest events on December 1st, 2022, which was the Charizard Terra Raid Den event. Now, this was extremely special because this was considered to be one of the first difficult fights that they released in a Terra Raid Den and allowed us players to get ourselves a Charizard for the first time. Now, we all tried to shiny hunt this Charizard, but unfortunately, it was shiny locked, but players were able to easily catch one and then keep breeding it until we were all able to get ourselves a shiny Charmander. This is really cool and the only way at this time that we can get Charmander in the game was from this raid event even though now it's compatible by just transferring a Charmander from Pokemon Home right into the game or by catching it in the Indigo Disc. Now, Pokemon also did events for the third evolutions of all these starters where you would do the exact same thing as Charizard by defeating them in a Terra Raid Den. Then we catch them and then we start breeding them and get the shiny form of the Pokemon. But this would all change as we further moved into the DLCs. On September 13th, 2023, the Teal Mask came out, which brought in a bunch more different Pokemon along with some new Pokemon. This was then followed up by the Indigo Disc, which was the bigger DLC that came out on December 14th, 2023. And in this DLC, it was extremely special because if you got enough blueberry points for the Academy, you then could use those points to unlock every single starter in the wild in the Indigo Disc, which kind of made the special events to get the Pokemon initially not so special since you could just catch them now. Now, while we're talking about Indigo Disc, they did bring back a bunch of Alolan forms like Alolan Grimer, Muck, Vulpix, Ninetales, Sandshrew, Slant Slash, Executor, Diglett, Dugtrio, Geodude, Graveler, Golem, but we had a few missing, like a Lowland Meowth, a Lowland Persian, a Lowland Marowak, and a big one, a Lowland Raichu. And there was no possible way in the Indigo Disc DLC to evolve a Pikachu into Raichu. Even if you brought it over to the coastal biome and evolved it there, nothing would happen. And that's what I thought when I had my Pikachu and I tried to evolve it there, just got a regular Raichu. But this new event changed the way we did things typically in the game. The new Pikachu event is taking place from July 12th to July 25th, 2024 and in this event they're allowing a bunch of different forms of pikachu to roam the entire area of paudea including the dlcs now once you connected to the internet in your game and updated your game completely you'll then will be greeted by this event and see various things on different parts of your map now in paudea the base game you'll be able to find a bunch of pichu events all over your map that you'll be able to go ahead and just catch them however these are just going to evolve into a regular ride no matter what happens. If you head over to the land of Kitakami, you'll get a bunch of Pikachus as well as Mimikyu mass outbreaks happening here. But in the Indigo Disc is where things start to get a little special because you'll start to see regular Raichu outbreaks, but you'll also will get to see Alolan Raichu outbreaks. And the cool part is if you never ever registered an Alolan Raichu in your game, it's going to show up as a question mark for the first time that you see it, which is really cool. Now, what makes this specific event really special is that if the Pokemon Company and Game Freak decided to put the Alolan Raichu as a Terra Raid then, then when we defeat it and start to breed it down, it's just going to create Pikachus that evolve into regular Raichu because the prerequisites are to have a Pikachu that evolves in Alola to get an Alolan Raichu. But now because these mass outbreaks are scattered throughout the entire area, we can successfully shiny hunt these Alolan Raichus and the best part about it is these Alolan Raichus are so special because they're not going to say that they are from Alola, but rather that they're going to say that they're from the Indigo Disc DLC, depending on the specific location where you caught it, making this Alolan Raichu a lot more rare to get. Because when this event ends, and if they don't ever run it again, you'll only be able to say you caught an Alolan Raichu during this period in the game, making you have a prized possession Alolan Raichu. And if you're able to get one with a mark, you probably did even better. Now, for those who want a very easy time hunting as many shiny 
many Alolan Raichus as they can before this event is over, I have good news for you. According to the data mine by Anubis, the Scarlet Violet distribution outbreak shiny rates for events are extremely high. So just by itself, without any bonuses, you have a 1 out of 190 chance of you getting a shiny Pokemon. If you have a shiny charm and nothing else going on, you have a 1 out of 174 chance. And if you do the typical sparkling sandwich level 3, along with an outbreak of knocking out 60 and using a shiny charm, you'll have a chance of 1 out of 144. However, I didn't even use a sparkling sandwich or knock out any of the Pokemon. I'm just going to show you the best spot where you can reset to get as many Alolan Raichu as possible. So you want to open up your map in game and place yourself right around the coastal plaza area. And our goal is to date skip until we get an Alolan Raichu outbreak within this area. And to simply do this, all you have to do is hit your home button, go to system settings, go all the way down until you reach system and then go to your date and time. Make sure you turn off the synchronized clock via internet and then just jump on date and on the map, it'll jump to the next area. If you leave it on the map and you can keep rotating until it finally lands into that spot. Now, something else that I did want to mention to all of you is on the system settings, you can also go to the zoom button by pressing this, by toggling this button on. Now, when this is on, you can start zooming in in the game. Some of the Raichus in the shade are going to look like they are shiny, but they're not. So you can double tap the home button to zoom in to make sure you're not looking at the wrong Raichu. Now, once you get your spawn right in this area, all you have to do is just simply go back towards a town right out against the wall to get the Coastal Plaza Terrarium to show up on your screen and then walk right back out until you see Coastal Biome and that's when all the Alolan Raichu are going to spawn. This is going to make your life so much easier and this outbreak can be completely farmed non-stop until the date reset point but don't let it go to the date reset point. You can just keep it in this area or refresh if it accidentally skips to get the mass outbreak in this area over and over. Remember it's limited time so catch as many as you can in however many different Pokeballs to get them. Now, I'm going to show you how I got my first ever shiny Alolan Raichu. So what I did was I went over to this location specifically in the coastal biomes and I decided to start knocking out my Raichu as typically we do in our mass outbreaks. I took out a bunch and then realized that these Alolan Raichu were also spawning down below. Now, the crazy part is if you look at my gameplay over here, you'll see that in the shadows, the Alolan Raichu actually look shiny, even though they're not shiny, just because of the shade. So if you're ever in an area like this, make sure to check down below because I actually did walk a little more further down and then I spotted the shiny from right above the cliff and this was insane. So I jumped right down to where that Alolan Raichu was and then bumped into it and officially caught it in a luxury ball because this is quite a luxury to have a Pokemon like this. So let me know in the comments if you got any special marked Alolan shiny Raichu down below or how many you're catching and are you trading them? What's going on? Or are you storing these in your collection for trade bait later? Let me know in the comments and also you should check out this video over here if you haven't seen it.